So you've done the self-help and you've dipped into some personal development, but now you ask the question, now what? What can you do? Well, if you want to escape the apathy, step right this way. So twice a year, I teach a course called Autonomy. It's a 12-week personal development and training course. What people get out of it is multifaceted. Uh, there's curriculum, there's exercises, there's camaraderie. You make new friends. There's a whole lot of interesting things. We're going to hear a sample from the course right now in its ongoing season. Let's take a look at the value these students are getting. A lot of people want to use the phrase conspiracy theorist as a pejorative. Okay. What is the origin of that phrase that you're leveling at me? And if they know, we can have an interesting conversation. If they don't know, would you care to know? Or are you going to continue doing the CIA's work without getting a paycheck? Because that phrase, conspiracy theory, comes from CIA document 1035-960 concerning criticism of the Warren Commission report. And it's a report of like a 23-page memo about Edward J. Epstein, a New York Times bestselling author, and John Taylor Gatto's roommate at Cornell. Gatto went to two Ivy League universities, Cornell and Columbia, and then he went to a couple other ones too. But uh, Edward J. Epstein was his roommate at Cornell, and he wrote the book Inquest, which was the first book to critique the Kennedy assassination. And he became a New York Times bestselling author because he knew how to ask these questions in a way that was palatable to the public and yet still very potent. And he wrote a bunch of other really excellent books inquiring into the nature of our reality. Like how did diamonds work? Are they worthless pieces of mineral that they used, you know, facilitated advertising to make them have a social value? He went and embedded himself with the Oppenheimer family to discover that answer. He embedded himself with Oliver Stone in Hollywood and wrote like how Hollywood works. He wrote, uh, he embedded himself with the, the newspaper and television industry. Uh, it's called News from Nowhere. And he tells you how the news industry works. So he was a really interesting, prolific writer. And uh, he's cited in that CIA document. So because Gatto's roommate wrote this book, the CIA had to write that memo and say books like this guy, they're stirring people up. And what we should do is level the term conspiracy theory as a pejorative. And that's really just to seal people off from thinking, right? They don't have to go any further trying to understand your point or to do any learning on their own. They're all set. It's not in their narrative. Therefore, it's conspiracy theory. Great. Now those people are controlled by a narrative and they have to stay in that narrative because anything not in their narrative is a conspiracy theory, right? Well, all these tangible facts that exist in reality and are very relevant can't fit in that narrative that the 18 hijackers did the thing, right? So they're actually blocking people from accessing reality and getting those people to self-impose their boundaries through saying conspiracy theory to keep their narrative from being like punctured. Everyone's doing some kind of self-help these days, and you can find a million self-help courses out there. Most other courses out there are hosting lectures, they're hosting videos, they're maybe even doing Q&As, and these are great starting points to encourage learning. But at Autonomy, we believe that hands-on practice is the best way to really lock in what we're learning. There's no better way to gain confidence and mastery than through action. After each lecture, we practice the concepts we've learned with other students, giving and receiving feedback in a non-judgmental environment. The result is mastery of concepts like entrepreneurship, ethical sales, and self-reliance in an environment that directly translates to the real world. Plus, you make connections with other like-minded individuals who are learning right alongside you, and you have a lifetime membership in the community. The Autonomy Course with Richard Grove equips you with confidence, competence, and courage in a world filled with confusion and noise. You can learn more at getautonomy.info. We'll see you there.